now I know who I'm going to have do my eulogy. <laughs> Put that in my will, all right. Okay. Here, here comes out of his shell, he's going to be an effective communicator. <laughs> I've always thought unintended humor is the best. And last week, the uh, quote, Interfaith Alliance of Iowa, along with the signatures of 167 liberal clergy, showed up at the State House for uh, the purpose of lobbying on same gender marriage. And they took the occasion to scold the rest of us, saying, here's a direct quote, we, that is the Interfaith Alliance, we oppose the use of sacred texts and religious traditions to deny equal protection for gay and lesbian couples. My answer to them was, well, why shouldn't we use them? You're not using them. <laughs> so, I picked up, so I picked up the phone. Michelson, I just want to tell you, you are so intolerant. You are an embarrassment to the whole state of Iowa. You make us all look like narrow-minded, intolerant, backward hicks. Really? Uh, that doesn't sound good. Uh, I've been an embarrassment so many different levels. Could you just be a little more specific this time? Well, sure I can. You hate gay people. You don't think they should have equal rights. Intolerance is ugly. Okay, all right. So you are a tolerant person then? Yes. So you tolerate gays? Uh, yes. Oh, uh, no. Wait a uh, no, I don't uh, tolerate gays. I accept them and I support their rights. So you aren't tolerant of gays? No, I accept them. So you want me to be tolerant of gays? Yes, but you don't. No, I don't care about what two people do in the privacy of their bedrooms. So what they do really doesn't matter to you then, does it? No, you don't care. Exactly. So you are totally indifferent to what two guys do to each other in the privacy of their bedrooms. That's right. So just to be clear, you want me to be tolerant while you are indifferent. Well, yeah. Well, so then who can even be tolerant? Well, what do you mean? Well, if I understand what you just told me, can people who accept, approve of, or are indifferent to the claims and behavior of the gay agenda be tolerant towards gays? No. Well, then correct me if I'm wrong. The only people who can be tolerant are those who are willing to compromise their standards. Huh? <laughs> well, personally, I think two guys pretending to be sexual mates are making a mistake. More than that, they are violating the design of their bodies. More than that, they are sinning against their maker. More than that, they are likely to shorten their lives in this world and imperil their destinies in the next. So for me to be tolerant in your view, I have to give up every single one of those ideas and accept theirs as healthy and normal. Well, yeah, because your religion is intolerant. Well, okay, then what do you have to give up to approve of same gender marriage? Well, nothing. I approve of it. Well, then, do you see what I have to give up in order for you to consider to me to be tolerant? Yeah, well, there's nothing important. Okay, let me just ask you this. Can you give me a single example of you being tolerant? I mean, what do you tolerate that I don't? Well, I can't think of anything right now. So can I suggest that the only person who can be tolerant is the one who has standards, which they have to give up 
in the name of tolerance, and you can't name a single example of tolerance in your life, yet you accuse me of lacking a quality that you don't possess. So can you tell me why you call? <laughs> Click. <laughs> call? <laughs> um, well, what's my point? Well, here's my point for you guys. Just about every notion that's being served up right now by the other side in the culture war is bogus. There isn't a single institution that liberalism has gobbled up that's functioning. Liberal education, tanked. Liberal welfare state, unsustainable. Global warming religion, collapsed. <laughs> the dollar based upon uh, liberal assumptions, Keynesian economics, fake. And the economy built upon fake dollars is collapsing too. And now a liberal court, a liberal legislature, and a liberal governor is trying to redefine the definition of family and marriage. The purpose of let us vote, therefore, is to resist this nonsense. I'm really up for it. I'm really up for this ruckus. I like ruckuses. <laughs> I like contending, and I hope you are too. That's all I have to say. <laughs> and is Bob here yet? Bob Adam Lance here yet? In about five more minutes? Hey, I ain't feeling for five minutes. <laughs>